Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today, of course, oh, wait, before we get to the really big news, President Obama, who does not celebrate for Earth Days, had his birthday campaign fundraising effort and raised twice as much money as Mitt Romney did in the last quarter. Also, probably the biggest news today is the stock market, well, let's just say, went into correction <laughs> and they had to pull out the stops as it went down over 500 points and gold went to new high levels, so now they're putting the surcharge on it. All in one day. So for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Seven days, there's a lot to report in the news. Oh, it's all, it's all bad news this morning. Um, they said, Obama promised the Democrats that he would rectify the situation, that there was no overt raises in taxes on people that had any money in this country and business. So this morning, he kept his promise. He went to war against every person in the United States that has money in a bank account. Yeah, so what do you do with a bank account? Uh, basically, okay, what it was is the, uh, the, 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 the Bank of New York, which, which basically is in the Federal Reserve System under Geithner, put in a thing that basically, uh, don't put money in our bank. We do not want your money in our bank. If you put money in our bank, we're going to f hit you with a fee so high that it will make it, that you'll wish you were taxed instead. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, I know, can you believe a bank is saying that? What do banks, how do banks, okay, what do banks do? They take people's money in and they lend it out to others. And now there's a, there's a huge bank, one of the bigger banks in the country telling you, don't put money in our bank anymore. And they figured, well, the logic of Geithner and Barack Obama, who neither one of them can actually, you know, oh, here, here's again, how does a Democrat count to, to five? Puts his foot up and goes like this, and you get to five. No, wait, that's only if it's um, to your advantage, right? Or is that all the time? That's, they can't count anything. Oh. That they always remember, they'll add one and one and come up with seven. Oh. Or they'll add seven and they'll, do, they'll subtract seven and one and come up with 14. Mm. Oh, they got that. But they, uh, they, they got this brilliant idea. We can force businesses and people to spend their money and put in the economy by forcing them to pay more money than it would be if we actually could raise taxes on them. That they, what they didn't understand was the market didn't like it. Uh -huh. Because this was a day after he phonied up, he wanted to keep the market from falling for nine straight days, which made him in Jimmy Carter territory. So they used the leverage of the White House to, uh, it, to force the market up by basically giving out, you know, well, our, these businesses are doing far better than what, but who's the one that's saying you're doing far better? The government is saying to the government that they did far better. And that's all it took to boost it by about 30 some points. But they were unhappy about that. They were unhappy about the fact that unemployment went up again. Oh, it did? Yeah, and it's been, basically there's been, there's been, statistically, it's been a wash for months now, but it went up again, so but they are unhappy about that. And tomorrow's going to get worse. But then, he, you know, he comes in after, we're going to hit you with so many fees, and they said, well, you see, what was it? We're gonna, and I knew Lee Fogg, but he didn't count, but, you know, uh, they can take their money and take it out of the country. Oh, um, yeah. You know, I finally got his rationale, which is, if we charge you a lot of fees, then you'll take it out and spend it before we spend it for you, right? Yeah, yeah, or no. tax you on it? Yeah. So, well, what happens is people just take it out and put it somewhere else. Oh, yeah. One of the guys, I had one of the Democrats this morning, a, a Democratic comic said, so my, my, my parents during the Great Depression hid their money in a mattress. I have a lot of mattresses in a lot of different places, so don't think you can steal my money by going to my house. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then, so that's basically what's happening. And then, they, uh, they, they, because they decided this morning, they decided, well, hell, we got to figure, we got to get this done real easy. We're just going to take it and put it in gold. Well, guess what our brilliant president and Geithner did this morning? They suggested a surcharge on gold now in order to force you to put money in the United States and not to buy gold. <laughs> and guess what happened with gold? Gold went down. Went down because it, uh, you know, and then the, the oil, they said they released the figures for the summer, which has basically been a summer of dead. People aren't even doing staycations this year. That, that's a lot. This is just, I mean, we, we cover this every single day. All this happened since yesterday. Well, no, Obama, <laughs> all... basically, he, uh, he had to go, and he's, long, he's losing his liberal base. They don't want him. They've got to, 
No, even though Bill O'Reilly, no one would dare run against this man. And Fox News, you basically, you know, we condemn the Tea Party and George Bush and the Republicans. So it's basically because Murdoch is afraid. Murdoch is more scared of going to jail than he is of, um, of uh, losing money because he can make money back up. But at 85, he goes to jail. He's dead. So yeah. he's basically in the Obama camp. But everything that Obama has done today to satisfy the left has backfired massively. Everything. They said, uh, you know, one of the people on this, we're talking... The the, uh, the news media that he controls said, you know, that you couldn't do more things wrong than this man has done since he became you know, they said this is not a, okay, Jimmy Carter proved that you do not have on the job training as president. Well, you know, all in a few days, let's see, they got, <laughs> they got it passed and then everybody was celebrating because of historic agreement between the Republicans and the Democrats. And then it's well, like... You mean the agreement where the Republicans did everything but give him their underwear? That's right. That's the agreement. And so then they talk about how great he was, and then the next day he has a birthday party, and then this happens. Oh, I yeah. Mean, well, what, what happened was he was smiling, you know, yeah, like last night his birthday party. Like I get, they, uh, the Chinese basically said, you got to cut $9 trillion of your spending, which means he's got to stop spending money. And he said, like, I give a damn of what the Chinese think. Oh, is that what he said? Oh, and then this morning they downgraded us. Oh, which was the next thing, which is China. Which is another. The latest to downgrade the USA credit rating. Oh, Obama laughs it off. Yeah, he laughs it off. I mean, I, I love it. I mean, well, he was doing it his best. I mean, I don't have Jack in the Box Obama out today, but he should have been out. Because this man, they said he was in his best jackass form last night. I mean, he basically, with that smile, and then, you know, oh, God, you know, we're going to teach those son of a bitches a lesson. I mean, they said there was so, so much profanity spreading last night. They said they got, uh, this is a good one. Okay, we're going to go leapfrog. we we'll get leapfrog over. This is going to be a different news back today. Uh, leapfrog is going to say, we did tell those supporters of us not to bring in, uh, you know, cell phones with them. Oh my God, you mean our supporters are sending out the profanity and the attacks to the public? Oh, Christ. Yeah. They, okay, you got to understand that people that don't like Obama were at that meeting. They were, for, they, were at, they were forced to go to the birthday party because of the party. Okay, what happens is they have to be able to, they have to launder money. So they'll pick some poor employee to go pay, you know, that makes $10,000 a year buy a $38,000 ticket. Mm -hmm. And then that guy doesn't like Obama because he's he's being forced to go, God, I'm giving you I'm giving this man more money than I make a year. Mm -hmm. And so guess what he does with his cell phone? He got he ain't thinking, oh look at that. Smile for me, Mr. President. Oh yeah. He said, here's a good one for you on your cell phone. George Bush and Republicans are assholes. The Tea Party is nothing but terrorists. Are oh, you serious? Did he do and, that? And don't, and, and don't and remember, none of this is all private. We're having a good time. This is all jokes. Uh, not when you take it and not when you put it on the internet and they don't put it in that content. They they leave the well, part out that it's a joke. Right, and they just post it on the internet. Yeah, I mean, you oh, don't. Did somebody worry. really did? How do you tell? Okay, this was done so stupidly last night that you'd have thought they were Republicans. You think, you, you think that a Republican would have not thought about that, those cell phones in this room, folks, and have the president pose for pictures with? I'm surprised people. they let him in there. Because they're they they don't want. Okay, Obama needs a billion dollars to run his campaign. He needs the money, and basically, when you need the money, you get very careless. Basically, if they're going to pay $38,000 for a ticket, he lets them bring their own cameras in. They said he needs to make $168 million a month, and he's not coming anywhere near it. Ooh. That's, that's a billion dollars on top of what the Democratic Party needs. So he's not coming anywhere. He's basically coming in, like they said, $30, $40 million a month. And by the time you get to the thing, he's not going to have as much money to campaign with on this next election. Well, because, uh, you know, you mean Wall Street is not happy with me and they've only given the whole Democratic Party $1 million? Well, see, he doesn't need to because remember he's president and he's just been campaigning while he's doing his press conferences. Ah, uh, 
they they've taken his they took his jet away from him. Oh. He's going to do a bus campaign tour now. They Are took you serious? his jet away from him because what? They're making him pay for that because it's a violation of the campaign statutes that the Democrats pushed through. And he's using that jet for campaign purposes, which means you got to pay for it and everything around it. So now they're going to do a bus tour, uh -huh. which costs a lot less. It means, okay, what it means is they don't have the money that they had when he was running. They took for president. The money's not there now. Otherwise, you would not be doing a bus tour. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that uh, when you pitched a shutout against the opposition, uh, uh, you, you didn't lose the game, folks, no matter what they're telling you.